I mean, I, I will, hello, uh, Catherine, I will give um, two times the same answer. Huh? Mm, I believe uh, in, yes, uh, I believe in hard working. Yeah. I mean, for a coach, it doesn't mean that it's a bit different than for players, but also as a coach, you have to work hard. If you ask me what I changed between like my evolution as a coach from 2014 to 2018, and generally, I don't like to look backwards. I always look forwards and I look, what can I do better? Yeah, like I told you in the beginning, I'm a person who likes to read books. I read a lot. But also I'm a person who likes to, even these webinars I'm doing here, they are very interesting because your questions make me think. That's the good thing about all those uh, talks. I, had, I did a lot of this. Every time I have to think like, hmm, is this a question? Why? What do I learn from it? Yeah, I think the curiosity or the passion is a bit the same. To learn is the most important. Yeah, and I think it's like what you have to do in volleyball means you have to follow volleyball. I, I will give an example. and It's not to exaggerate. But it's just to give you an idea what means working. Somebody asked me a couple of months ago, just before the corona crisis, how, much, how many matches you were seen this year on, on your laptop or live or in total? And I started to count and I came close to 1,000. So in one year, I was seeing almost 1,000 matches. If you start to bring it down, it means three matches a day. Yeah, and it's sometimes I don't like it anymore. But now I realize after so many, yeah, that, that's difficult, but that is, it's our work. It was my passion. And if you see a lot of matches, you find ideas. What can I do better? So I think that is one. Uh, what I advise to coaches is, I think what the ones who are listening, making already a good step. You have to be ready to work, to listen, to think. I think even if I give you an ex exercise to play, it doesn't matter. You have to learn to make your own exercise as a coach. But for that, it's important that you listen, think about things, and then try. Yeah. And I think that is something mm, everybody can do. I mean, I, I, will, I will tell a last small story. I was reading, a, like I told you, I like to read books. And I was a couple of months ago reading a book. It's called the 5 EM Club at the 5 o'clock in the morning club. And that was explaining it's better to stand up earlier. So I tried and I changed my life a bit. And before I was always standing up at 7.30 in the morning. And since Corona started, I stand up at 5.30 or 6 in the morning. And it's fantastic. Every morning I have one hour more. I have one hour more to go for a walk, to read a book, or to just drink my coffee. I love it now to nowadays in Italy, it's nice weather in the morning. At six o'clock in the morning, I drink my coffee. Yeah, and I can think a bit. So I think in general, it's like, it's always be busy with what can I do better? And that never stops. It never stops. And I believe that if you work hard, one day you will get recognition for that. And maybe it takes a while, but somewhere it will come. So I believe in, yeah, being, I love it. I hope you love your job also, being passionate about that and go on doing. I think that's a general answer. Do I give a more specific answer? Yes, there, there's an interesting theory about motivation. Who's telling there are three elements who motivate people. The elements are goal, to have a goal in life, to have autonomy, and the third one is to have a master. That means somebody who helps you in bringing somewhere. I learned that the most important is to have a goal. In 2014, I made my team ready to win bronze, but not more. In 2018, I made my team ready for gold. I make them really believe that gold is possible. So having a goal in life and it's not only for a tournament. I think it's something, it's very important. If you have no goals, you will not make anything. And I prefer that you put high goals. And if you miss them, at least you tried. 
if you put low goals, you make them and you don't know what you're worth. So I think that's the the biggest thing I learned in my life. I my goals are only higher and higher and higher. Yeah, and the funny is till now I was making a lot. So that's normal that today I say we are going to win gold on the Olympic Games. I have to put that goal. Maybe I miss it, but as a, as a coach, it's the highest possible goal, I think. Okay, Katerina? Of Katerina, what was it? Sorry, it's bad for me. Katerina. 